dodge Ghana weaving. Dodge it. The regular one that dodges, escape, run away, run, run for your life. of the interweb welcome to my YouTube channel my name is okachi been to the channel hi how are you i create content around natural hair beauty lifestyle content creation but a little bit of everything else in between so please consider subscribing if you like it here for that kind of content and if you're new to the channel fam you are welcome back home okay so guys today we're going to be talking about edges 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 so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys tips and tricks on how to care for your edges so that you don't lose your edges okay so without further ado you know how we do let us get right into the video okay guys so what are your edges your edges are basically the hairs around the perimeter of your scalp so this is your scalp where your hair is going out from is your scalp so the hairs around it so the hairs that go around it even to your back your nape area those are actually count as edges okay so when your edges start to recede or start to pull or whatever it is or starts to remove by itself or something like that it's called traction alopecia and a lot of things can cause traction alopecia i'm going to give you guys nine things that can cause traction alopecia okay the first thing that can cause it common sense is tight hairstyles having hairstyles that would pull your edges back or sometimes even pull them off can cause your edges to remove it is basic physics okay the next thing that can cause traction alopecia is if you have health issues, when people have health struggles or health challenges that cause their hairline to recede or cause their hair to just fall off, people that go to chemotherapy and the likes, yes, their hairlines can actually recede, okay? Another thing that can cause traction of the farm is actually stress. If you are stressed, your hair, can, your hair has a high tendency or a high tendency to fall out. So your eggs will get the hardest hit because the, your egg is there, let me not cap, they're actually very soft. They're the softest part of your hair. No cap, no other part of your hair is this soft. Check around, look around. No other part is just as soft as your edges. So when you are stressed, your edges will get the highest heat, okay? The next thing is overly shampooing your hair. When you, you are constantly shampooing your hair, overly shampooing your hair, especially using, when you're using sulfate shampoos, your edges are the softest part of your hair, as I've earlier said. And that means they will take the hardest heat when it comes to shampooing and shampooing and shampooing because your edges are very lightweight. They are your softest and I think the shortest part of your hair also, okay? Another thing that can cause your edges to just misplace or displace is <laughs> actually, like, you know, deep conditioning your edges. You're meant to be applying deep conditioner to your edges. Your edges, your edges is also hair. So apply deep conditioner to your hair and to your edges, okay? So when you don't deep condition, when you don't deep condition your edges, your edges just start to, no, are not, basically not moisturized, basically. Let them not overly cap. They're actually not as moisturized when you don't deep condition, okay? Another thing that can cause your edges to actually just misplace or misplace is heat damage. Yes, guys, if you get your hair damaged by heat or like you overly blow dry your edges, it just starts to remove, just gets displaced, and that can also cause your edges to chop off. Okay. Another thing that can cause your edges to damage or cause them to disappear or displace is chemical damage. Yeah. Remember when you say relax your hair, be next to have edges. That's the reason why. Chemical, your hair is actually. Not relaxing your hair properly can cause chemical damage and that will cause your edges to just displace or misplace, okay? Nothing that can cause your edges to displace or misplace. I know if you have edges before, but tight bonnets. Not certain bonnets you're wearing. Your hair is moisturized there, but you don't have edges. Why? Your certain bonnet is too tight. What I, I wouldn't get to like tips and tricks, but that can cause your edges. Maybe because it's elastic that is inside and it's putting so much pressure on your edges, okay? Another thing that can cause your edges to just disappear is tight wigs. Yes. I want a wig girl, but... I have wigs and I have one wigs and I have one wigs that have cinched and clinched to my edges like this and I regret it till today. So when your edges, when you wear wigs, that can also cause your edges to just, especially if the wigs are very tight, constantly wearing wigs can cause your edges to just misplace or displace, okay? Another thing that can cause your edges to just disappear is overly laying your edges. Every day you are laying your edges to be slick. Fam, calm down. It wasn't made to be slick. Enjoy it how it is in its natural state, okay? This is not, it was not made to be sleek. Enjoy it how it is. So constantly laying your edges can also cause your edges to be displaced or misplaced. And the last thing I can, that can come to my mind is trichotillomania. What does that mean, picking out your edges? This is one thing I actually suffered because it wasn't just my front hair. I used to pick out the hairs on my side. So even if it's in my pictures or in my videos, I would say here is always feeling so Because still like last year or two years ago i used to pick out the strands of hair from the roots till i see that white bulb on the if i just keep on picking at the spot till i see it 
So trichotillomania can cause you to lose your edges. It's like when you are picking your edges unconsciously. I think it's sort of like an OCD thing. That's an, a compulsive thing. Sometimes you don't even know you're doing it. So people pick, like, pick their edges when they're under stress. So people pick it when they are bothered or worried. So mine was just because I don't know what was wrong with me. I just used to pick out my pick at my sides here and here till like it was clear, like there was no hair going out of it again. But yeah, so let us just get into what I do, how to, I care for my edges, tips and tricks to care for your edges. Okay, one thing I first do is avoid wearing wigs as much as possible. Yes, and if I'm going to wear a wig, best I believe I'm going to wear a bonding cap under no cap. Sorry, there's cap, bonding cap, but like no cap. Always wear a bonding cap underneath your wigs. Don't be spraying your got to be your got to be gel on your edges. Nabo, they're for the lace of wigs, not for your edges. Okay. Another tip I would say is don't overlay your edges. Leave your edges alone. You can lay your edges once a month or once a week. Simply so lay your edges every day. And then come out and say, catch what can I use to grow my edges? Farm nothing. You are the one removing it by itself. It cannot go if you keep on doing this every day. Okay. Another thing I would say is Fam, don't overly shampoo your hair or overly even shampoo your edges because you can actually like decide to just shampoo here. You can even apply shampoo to it, but don't overly. It's not jeans you are washing, it's not cat tire you are washing. Calm down, relax, and enjoy, okay? Don't do that to your edges. Your edges will just be moving like this till there's nothing left again, okay? And then I would say is, fam, if you can, dodge Ghana weaving. Like, dodge it. Don't let it jam you anyway. Just swerve. Ghana, like, I return natural. I've only done Ghana weaving once. Once. And guess what happened? They started it off with my hair, not my, not my actual, not the attachment. And it was also the feeding braids. It was not the regular Ghana weaving. And it was all back. It was 12 all back, 12 cornrows. And it was my hair first. I didn't want any, any, any excuse of my idea. I just dodged Ghana weaving. Dodge it. The regular one that dodge it. Escape. Run away. Run. Run for your life. If you can't escape, dodge it like mad. Okay, <laughs> any tight style they're going to do, sneak bond that they're sticking and they're dragging your run away, dodge it, leave it alone, leave it in 2020, I'm going to 2022, okay, dodge it, okay. And that thing I would say is avoid like overly blow drying your edges or blow, just avoid it. Anything that will put tension on your edges, avoid it. One thing I would even say is if you can skip satin bonnets, my baby girl, skip it and you start in scarves. They are lighter on your edges, even if I'm no longer even like a bonnet, I'm definitely a scarf girl. Perfectly a drag. I'm actually a drag girl. My drag is actually in my bag, but I am a drag girl because it is so light with I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my head. I prefer drags to scarves. I prefer scarves to bonnets because that elastic in, in, in bonnets, fam, fam, has done more harm than good in a lot of people's edges. Okay, so let me just share you guys, share with you guys how I take care of my own edges. Okay. The first thing I like to go in with is just water. Just to spray my hair, my edges just like it can get moisturized, you know. Yeah, so just light, lightly, please. I'm using my front as the example because this is the best part so that you can see, okay? Just spray it lightly. Then I would either go in with my virgin hair fertilizer or I go in with my DIYs by Kachi Scalp Trigger Elixir, my product, yeah, for my DIY videos coming up soon. Okay, so this... I think I'll go in with both of them on like either side. I think the reason why I prefer virgin hair fertilizer is because it's not runny. This is a little like this might run down your face if you don't use it appropriately, okay? But this is like grease, okay? So you can go in with either this. Yeah, it's falling down. I'm going with this. So I'm going with this on one side. I really like this product. You guys know how I feel about this brand. I'm going with this on one side and I'm going with the oil on the other side. Or the elixir. On the other side, I'm going to just go ahead and apply this on my. Just spray, make sure you spray this water first. You are moisturizing, then you are going to seal with the oil or the grease. Just apply, just liquid. You don't need a lot. This is this is enough. Okay, just. And you work it in. Don't you don't have to scatter your head to know that you are applying product on your edges. Okay, just this is what this is all I just do. I just do this for like a minute or two, max two. Just to aid blood flow. Then for the side with the oil, so we don't we don't sleep here. For the side, I'm going to go in with just like a few drops of the oil, not even on my but on my fingers first. So this is the oil, just on my fingers, like 
because a little goes a very long way. So apparently to the spot, I know that small bees will blow to just remove. <laughs> this is fortified with essential oils. Like this has peppermint essential oil, which is needed for like scalp triggering so that your follicle triggering to be very precise. So just applying this here, then eh, down my face. Who saw that? So I'm going to wipe this off and just put it here. So just to re This is basically what I do for my edges. So when I'm tying my scarf, when I'm going to sleep or whenever, this is how I tie my scarf most times. You probably see me like my scarf every time on social media, even in real life, I'm always wearing a scarf. You bring it over your edges, over your edges, guys, over your edges, over, not on, over your edges. You can see that my edges are not exposed, over the edges, and you tie it. This just helps to protect your edges, helps to shield them, even when you sleep, because most of the times, let's not cap, how many of us have certain, certain pillowcases at home? I only have like one, and once that one is dirty, I have to reuse my cotton pillowcase. So this is like the best thing for me. This scalp does not move, my drag does not move. Probably my head shape, but it doesn't move. So once I need it like this, this will be rubbing against my pillow, not my edges. This will rub, this will rub against it till I wake up in the morning and go and take my bath, okay? So this, this is basically how I take a bath. I do this like once, Sometimes I do it like twice a week or three times a week when I have a chance. Well, from most times once a week or once every two weeks or once every other day whenever I remember. So if you are struggling with your edges, you can always try this out. These two products are like bomb degree. This virgin hair fertilizer farm, it is the real deal. If you have any health scalp issues, try this first. Before you try it, it's the bomb for edges especially. And this is my oil farm. Second to none. I only make the best and that's on period. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Tell me, how do you care for edges in the comment section? What is your go-to edges product? Tell me in the comment section. I even think I even have a DIY edges growth oil video. Check it out. It's linked here, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Follow me across all social media platforms by Natural Catch. I'm Natural Catch everywhere, including TikTok. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Fam, I'm wearing a scarf and I'm seeing this. <laughs> and I think I'll see you guys in my next video. Please remember that God is watching you. So leave God a beautiful show. Bye. Uh, see how she did stand for a corner If you know man, I go like me to call her She say she like up in me, look at the color If I forget the name, I go use to call her uh, See how she did stand for a corner If you know man, I go like me to call her She say she like up in me, look